turned on my camera and the bird starts um, having a fight outside. <laughs> Go away, birds! Rude. Anyway, guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm cooking oysters, crumbed oysters. They're really big oysters. And I'll show you an oyster. Which one? This one. Look at my hand. Bam! Look how big they are. Look. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to uh, cook today. My husband was supposed to have uh, some raw ones, but he wanted to go and do some homework. So, <clears throat> anyway, so I've got the eggs and I've got the flour. So I'm going to... Um, see, I took the oysters out like half an hour ago because you want to try and get it as cool as possible, okay? Not so cold because it bring down the temperature of the oil too fast. I should have gotten it out earlier, but, you know, family things, kid in the way, and yeah, so you're pretty stuck doing that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's done, so I'm happy about that. Had to shower my mama, had to feed my mama, and then I had to send some money for my kids as it came up, Hanging out, oh yay yay! Mother's work's never ending, huh? Yeah, okay. I gotta beat the eggs, beat it, beat it. Okay. Oh, right, by the way, guys, here's the ingredients. It's not my fault. The birds, they come and fight outside. <laughs> nah, here's the ingredients, guys. <laughs> Far out, guys. I'm sorry. His ingredients. <laughs> These birds distracting me. Okay, his ingredients. So here are the ingredients, guys. It's the oysters, a couple of eggs, plain flour, onion powder, chicken salt, parsley, coriander, banco breadcrumbs and vegetable oil. Mm, bam! That's the ingredients guys. So now I'm just gonna um, beat up the eggs. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Then I whisk up these eggs. Then I want to um, put the uh, chicken salt in it. Okay. Then I'm going to put the onion powder in it. Put some parsley flakes in it. And coriander flakes. Right, get the bigger hole. You don't want a whole lot of coriander because the coriander flavor is like heaps, okay? But the parsley, not really, you know? Okay, that's done. Then I'm gonna, um, then I'm gonna add my flour into the bowl. Uh-huh. And then my breadcrumb, banco, a breadcrumb. Mm -hmm. They're really big oysters. There we go. Yeah, I might as well um Turn on the, the fire. I want to put the oil in. See with these little gas things, it doesn't take long for your um, the oil and everything else to heat up. Yep, so that should be enough. 
So you want to toss this, the flour and banco. There's a lot of banco in there, so it'll make it nice and, and crunchy. Okay, malfunction. <laughs> it's a malfunction happening. Not going to see any nipple here, mate. No! Okay guys, I'm going to show you how big one is, there, look at that, who wants to buy it, <laughs> wow, I think I'll leave this one for me to eat after, just get me a saucer to put it on, that is pretty big, wow, that takes about two bites doesn't it, why are you? Okay, getting back to these. The reason why I wanted to um, crumb these up because they're pretty big and pretty, you know, scary to eat at the same time. Wow, look at this one. Oh, they're so fat and creamy. I think I'll save this one as well to have after. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, here goes. I already washed my hands, I told you that, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna give it a rinse so there's no sand. So I've got all the oysters inside the, the egg mixture. I'm just letting them have a hangout, you know? So the flavors that I had put in there would, you know, like, mingle in the oysters. They're pretty big. Anyway, my oil's not hot yet, so I, so I have my chopstick here, my wooden chopstick. I'm going to put it on there, see if it's ready. Oh yeah, it's ready. You don't want it to be too hot because then it's um, it will just really fizz up, and you know you guys might have to call the ambulance. <laughs> yeah. So I'm coating this, press it in, if we press it in, it sticks a bit more, okay, so there it is, how's everyone doing by the way, hope you guys are all well. Mm -hmm. Everything's ready now to go. Okay, guys, I'm going to put these in now. Okay. And I, I'm only cooking them till they're golden brown. It shouldn't take too long. Well, they're ready to come out now, guys. So I just turn this off. So inside, if they're not completely cooked, they're still got that rawness in it, which is yum. Mm, that was a little bit cheeky, that one. This one, yeah. 
So you know what's going to be getting the best of one here? The big naughty. They look so delicious. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Mm. I'm gonna um, taste this for you guys and I'm um, gonna squeeze some lime over and I already did my prayer guys to thank the good Lord for what we have so I'm gonna cut into it it's still roary inside so look at that mmm take a bite guys Mmm, no. Can I buy it? Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. It's nice with um, lime because it's not so strong on the you know, citrus flavour. And it's yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. That is so lovely. Mm. The bomb dot com. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. get my husband to do this but never mind they can do it okay I squeezed a whole lot of lime over this hang on guys I'm gonna give me a piece of garlic okay okay here goes I got my piece of garlic bam and I'm gonna try this oyster so <laughs> Lovely. <coughs> Some more lime. If you have um, some oysters and you want to fry them, give it a try. But up for a lime instead of lemon. Lime will not kill the flavour of the oysters. Guys, thanks for joining me to watch me cook this and enjoy it. Hope you guys have something really yummy to eat. And I'll see you guys next time. 
human way got blessed.